how it's been all cleaned up. Rinsed her down earlier today. Good. Party going out there. It's a beautiful swan here. Talisman down there at the very end. End of that hammerhead dock. And this is Hamilton Harbor. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yep. This looks good uh, so far. Wendy, it's gonna need more uh, more tension on that halyard. A bit more. Okay, okay, that's enough. I need my topping lift here. Shape. There's no chafe happening up there. All the cotter pins look good. Um, I'm looking for them to be able to spin. This one doesn't spin, but I think it's okay. It's just really in there. It's, I can see the entire hole. Um, don't want anything that can catch on the sails. Obviously, the sails don't go this high up. Um, looking for our safety wire. I do not have safety wire on this. <coughs> because I'm out of safety wire, so I've just tightened it up as much as I can. It's a very tough um, screw to, or fastener to un unfasten, so I'm, I'm confident that it's not gonna come loose on its own, at least not before we get um, back to the United States and I can get back up on the mast again, get some, some more seizing wire. Um, these little plates have to be bolted on. These, these plates bolt over top of a pin to keep it from coming out. Uh, and then, you know, just, I've already checked the other side as well. Make sure that that's good. Uh.
Bermuda and Bermuda is gorgeous. It is the coolest place but expensive. The view at the bar over there last night was $15 and it wasn't even a pint. Um, it's Carlsberg too, not even a crazy expensive beer. Part of it was that they charge you for uh, gratuity, 17% gratuity automatically added on. So it was like $10.95 to start. But that's enough. I was told that they brought big container ships in here and I didn't really have a good appreciation for how big they might be. Um, it just looks totally out of place in this little tiny harbor. And especially if you could see the, um, the, the narrow uh, channels that you have to go through to get in here. And you have two tugs um, following along. We're all cleaned up and ready to go. I was up on the mast yesterday, making sure everything was good. Cleaned, you know, Talisman got a good bath. We finally had access to fresh water. So everything's all nice and, uh, nice and, I wouldn't say polished. I think I need to get after it with a buffer and get some of this oxidation off the fiberglass. But you know something? It's fine, it's fine. So yeah, you know, I'm really enjoying uh, Bermuda. It's, we're here in, in Hamilton, the little town of Hamilton, kind of the main town of Hamilton, I should say. And it's, it's, it's wonderful, very prosperous, obviously. And lots of corporate, corporate headquarters here, insurance and banking seem to be the things. So, yep, liking it. That's nice. Yeah, we're going out for a fabulous dinner later, so just a chance to run around town and check things out quick. I hope I don't get uh, I don't hope I don't get seasick and throw up on Tim. Oh. You know, because I'm going to be squeezing the upper bunk. <laughs> well, <laughs> luckily, it won't affect me. <laughs> affect you, at least not directly. <laughs> Looks like we're on a slide ride, so we should be. Sounds like somebody else's problem. <laughs> I brought my dead set list, though. Good deal. All right, here so we go. Tim, I hope you're a fan. Uh, I like good music and I like the dead. All right. So look at this, we're, we're doing 3.2 knots um, in like no wind whatsoever. And that back there is what's left of Bermuda. So we get, we're, we'll get there eventually. The wind is supposed to fill in later. So that's what we're kind of trying to do. Um, it's just, uh, you know, it is what it is. We don't have enough fuel to motor all the way there anyway. A lot of squalls coming up here, so we're reefing down, um, getting ready. We don't know how powerful they'll be, but it always pays to, to be safe when you're out at sea. It doesn't really matter if you lose a, a cup, maybe even an hour, even if it wouldn't really matter if, if um, you saved yourself some trouble. How's it going out there? It's clean, hard, green.
for six knots of boat speed, which is nice, um, considering that we don't have a ton of wind. Uh, but uh, got all the sails out, and it's a beautiful sunrise. And this is this is nice. This is fun when it's like this. It's just uh, calm. You're not crushing it, but you'll get there. That's what happens when you have a gourmet chef on board. That's right. They go through the gas. It's small Thank God we have Kevin. Thank God we have Wendy. What are you talking about? I'm just gas changing. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> well, got somebody's got to change the gas. Get down there. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's cooking. It's cooking. Curtis getting hungry. Right under the bow. Look at these two guys right here. They're having a blast. Playtime. They like to push each other out of the out of the slipstream. Like a game. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we love you guys. I love you so much. My song worked. It did work. Totally. Okay, so basically what we've got going on here is we've got we've got a bunch of targets around here. Uh, typically, uh, you don't see military using AIS. Uh, they they just don't turn it on. But we have over here we've got we've got a military ship. We're pretty sure another one coming directly at us. Uh, we're not sure what that is, but it's motoring. And uh, then we've had got something over to the side so uh, we're pretty sure that the US Navy knows about us this is the uh, we're going right into uh, Norfolk and behind that is Newport News where the shipyards are and so this is like a big military area speed over ground 26 and a half knots that's not going slow I'm the stand-on vessel, I'm just going to stand on. It's coming in. That's cool. Probably tax dollars at work right there. A lot of shipping traffic outside of Norfolk. They're all over the place. A lot of these ships are at anchor. So Wendy um, basically left up into the wind to give this guy enough room to come past us. Even though we were the standalone vessel, we didn't really want to go head to head with him. We had something like a 200 yard CPA.
did that running back stay down. It's kind of the sails hanging up against it. Anyway, um, well, you know, having lost our wind, we're just motoring the rest of the way up the Chesapeake Bay to Annapolis. Uh, it's been a wonderful trip across, wonderful trip from Bermuda, been great. Um, one of the casualties of the trip was this, uh, during some of the windier times, this little tang broke off, it goes on the front side of this car, and what I did was I put a, a Dyneema snap shackle on there and then a second one, because this one's going to chafe and you can see it's already starting to chafe, it's too sharp of an edge down there. Um, for that so it will eventually break and I'm gonna but in the meantime I'm gonna see if I can't find a welder um, or maybe have them put a put a bigger heavier uh, piece of, of stainless on there um, but um, this is an example of how you how you address a problem like this on the fly this this issue was fixed in in I don't know 20 minutes it took me longer to find the Dyneema snap shackles than it did to install it and have it have us back on the back in the game um, it's so important to have all these little things around the boat. They're just, 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 they're, they're just invaluable when you need them. Uh, but anyway, um, we're having a wonderful trip. We're about, I think, about four hours away uh, from Annapolis. We're hoping to have dinner there. <laughs> we're really looking forward to going out to dinner and just, you know, I, I, we'll, we'll set a record for getting getting that outboard back on the dinghy. I'll set I'll set Wendy and uh, Wendy and Tim to putting the dinghy in, and Alan and I'll set this uh, passerelle halyard up on the on the engine and have it have, have the whole thing back together in record time if that's what it takes to get to the bar i have to imagine on a tuesday there will be a ball uh the naval academy uh, to the right is like a dry dock area for the for the navy the naval academy the naval academy is on the left here on the port side Oh, here. Yeah. I think that dome that's covered is the Capitol building of Annapolis, uh, of Maryland. You can't really see the Naval Academy all well because it's so backlit. Yeah. I think there's, I, there's, looks like there's plenty of mooring balls. See them? Yeah, yeah. They're like all over. There's an island packet right there. That kind of almond looking boat. Yeah. Looks like we have availability. Twenty. Ten. Long times the fun one of those.